The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Welcome to this episode of Pit Life Barbecue. Gather around the pit with your hosts, Johnny Mags and Greg the Barbecue Broker DiGiorgio. Let's talk barbecue. What's up, everybody? Coming to you live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe in Salem, New Hampshire. It's the Pit Life Barbecue Podcast where we talk everything barbecue and a lot of other topics that you normally talk around the pit. As always, I'm joined by the angry barbecue broker. Ah! He's so, he's so angry today. Oh, he is fired <laughs> up. Boy. I'm going to hurt somebody today. Yeah, I am. You got this. I believe it. I'm gonna, Deep breathing. I don't want to talk about it. Let me Deep cool breathing. down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Cool down. I'm angry. Brother yeah. Alton, Gray, what's up? Did you see Gray sent us a picture of the new toy yes. at his work? Uh-huh. What, where does this guy work? I, I, Obviously oh, a Commercial house? greenhouses, he says. That apparently need 500 gallon smokers. Look at the size of that thing. I know. That's good looking. Can you turn me up a little bit? I need to be louder. No, you don't. Please, Chrissy. Unfortunately, with your yelling, my dear, you Yodel. None of your beautiful audience will be able to hear you if I don't turn you down a little bit from time to time. Yeah, my no, that's Especially while you're angry. Thing. I'm not angry. I'm disturbed. That's all. Oh, you, you. <laughs> that's putting it nicely. Let's skip over it now because I won't stop talking you about act, that. The no, this is actually time. hangry. You actually hit hangry today. Don't let yeah, and you're not helping freaking matters. Let's hey, say you know. that. Well, how do we fix it? Do you need to read read the read the ads for today to calm down, or we get Johnny to read them for you while you breathe deep? So today's show is brought to you Good idea. by. It's always brought to you by Uncle Steve. Shake, I love it. I wish that was Steve's head right there. Ah, have you ever wondered why? When you have a barbecue, no one's coming. But when this guy right here, when this guy has a barbecue, everybody's showing up for some reason. The answer to that question mm-hmm. is because he is using Uncle Steve's shake. And you're apparently not, which means one thing. You better get you some. All right? Look, Uncle Steve's shake is handmade, uses only the finest ingredients, comes in 10 amazing flavors, including the competition line, the new smoke bomb, and... Dessert shake. Dessert shake. Whoa. If you can eat it, Uncle Steve has a shake for it. If you have any shake questions, Uncle Steve has fantastic customer service. They'll walk you through all your shake needs. It's time to shake. take your backyard game to the next level with Uncle Steve's shake. Thank you for nothing with the teleprompter because I memorized that whole thing, Chrissy. I'm sure it's in exact order that I had to shake. Shake some on everything, Chrissy. Shake it on everything. I shake it on the everything, teleprompter baby. went real slow, so you better watch your ass. You want a sticker? One. He's he's angry reading today. I can't even keep up with it. Thank him. God I knew that by heart. Be with him today. I was at like the last paragraph, and you're still on why isn't people coming to the barbecue? I like it. This guy goes completely off script, and it's my fault. It's I can't ex- find where he's up to. Damn, That's exactly. right. John. I'll get better next time. Who is Greg? the show's also brought to you by? <laughs> Our friends at Two Guys Smoke Shop and TwoGuysCigars.com. Whether we were barbecuing or not, we always keep the smoke rolling thanks to our friends at TwoGuysCigars.com. Today we are smoking the Hammer and Sickle Tradition. Thanks to our friends from TwoGuysCigars.com, we get to smoke some of the best cigars in the world, and so can you. Mm-hmm. Just visit TwoGuysCigars.com mm-hmm. for your perfect barbecue companion. That's the number two. GuysToGuys.com. And, and real quick, Johnny, did you have any problem with the teleprompter? No. no because oh, my I call, God, because, he didn't. Because he could, wasn't you, angry reading. Let's got, move on. Because you got the jitters out on me. That's why. That's what happened. You got the jitters out on me. You come in with all this energy. You make Fine, me nervous. Fine, I'll go first. I made week. you nervous, and you couldn't teleprompt me today. I know. I'm not mad, though. Nobody See, can teleprompt you anything, everybody. Goose Rob, I'm letting it go, Chrissy. Daddy Dutch. We have other things to get to Uncle today. Steve is in the Let's house. What's up, Uncle? Hi, Uncle Steve. Efren, what's mm-hmm. up? C Mac, Joe. Mm-hmm. Getting shout outs, Uncle Steve, from my new producer. Why you gotta say it like that? Brother Elton says, breathe deep, Greg. <laughs> Relax <laughs> and don't deep. clinch up. You'll see why you're mad, Brother Elton. I can't even wear my hat. Then take your hat off. Show that beautiful bald head of yours. The bald head is glistening today because I'm on fire. Oh, I'm I need on a, fire. I need a shave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the half. I'm on fire. Oh, you uh, you haven't even lit up yet. Jesus Christ. Is my face red? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Are you hungry or something? Why, did you bring any snacks, John? No, you should have seen what I had for uh, lunch. I have a three-way right here. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Do you need it? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Wow, what you got? Huh? You bring something today? For lunch? Yeah. Okay. I had a great brisket taco. How oh, about you? You want to get into this fuck? Ah! You might as well tell everybody why you got your panties in a twist. All right, look. <laughs> I wish I had a brisket taco for lunch. <laughs> Screw you, John! I know. Am I going to need to be quick on the bleep button here? Nah. No? He doesn't need to be beeped out? Barbecue place in the in the in the somewhat in the local area from where I live. You want to tell Kev the hush just in case? I already did, Kev okay. Hush. <laughs> I don't want to call out this specific place by name, but if you're listening today, you know who you are. Okay? You put on your Instagram, Taco Tuesday. Let's go. Pulled pork tacos. So I text you, hey, come by for some tacos. Because we're on that level. The relationship is there, right? We text. Texting you. Coming by. Let me stop you first. Didn't we send Juke a sticker? Juke got a sticker. Yep. He didn't get any uh, pit life ones. We don't have any pit life ones left. Well, I didn't have any pit life ones when I sent the Bible. He broke ones. Oh. So we're on a, we're, we're, we're friendly. Juke, it's, message me your address. Uh, we're friendly. I'll mm -hmm. text you. He doesn't answer me. So, oh, this guy about probably busy. 12.30, I get it. I stop by. What's up, bro? Hey, asshole. We're friends like that. Say, yo, taco's looking good. Can you sub mine uh, for pulled pork? Can you give me brisket instead? Ready? Not nope. Ooh. I go, ah, oh, you jerk. <laughs> Whatever. He goes, no. What do you mean, no? Why no? Oh, you didn't make brisket today? Oh, you ran out of brisket. He goes, oh, no, I got, pl I got plenty of brisket. But that's not the special today. Today's special. Pretty much, Elton. Today's special, John, is pulled pork tacos. And you're asking for a brisket taco. I so said, okay, issue? so you have brisket. You got a whole sleeve of tacos right there, soft tacos. Okay? So sub out the meat and upcharge me, whatever, three bucks, whatever, four bucks, whatever you got to do. I'm in the mood for brisket tacos today. Today's Taco Tuesday, Chrissy. I love Taco Tuesday. This guy looks at me today and says, I'm not going to do it. See this menu right here? See this menu, he says? I go, yeah. I go, tacos aren't on your menu. He goes, exactly. I go, that makes zero sense. He says, it's called a special. And today's special is pulled pork mother effing tacos. And I said, okay, well, what do you put on these tacos? He goes, cheese. So I looked at the flat top, and he had more cheese. He had a whole bag of cheese on this one taco. I was like, where's, I can't even see the tortilla. I said, that's it. No pickled onions, no jalapenos. Nope. I said, okay, so you're not going to make me my brisket taco. I was going to ask one more time. You're not going to do this for me? This is not a joke? He says, no. So I said, I'm leaving. So Freaking turn around. Buddy. He goes, where are you going? I go, I'm going home and making myself a brisket sandwich. He goes, the whole time you had a brisket home. He goes, well, why are you coming here for brisket? I go, because I wanted to hang out with you and try your fucking shitty barbecue. Excuse my language. Because I like the guy. And I support local business. Even though I own a local business, barbecue business. I'm still supporting your local barbecue business. Because that's what we do. Why? Tell me. Because that's what we do. That's, that's why. what we do. Because we're a barbecue it's family. Barbecue family, She's and good. we love. She's good. So here I am trying to go support. He's too mad to hear me. Yeah. And this guy doesn't veer from the menu. He's the only employee. He owns it. It's him. No, you're not going to get yelled at. It's him. Dude, He's calm the guy. down. You look like Hulk Hogan on the comeback right oh, now. Oh, let me Jesus. tell your brother. Calm down. Let me tell your brother. Holy good God. 24 inch pythons. I'm screaming Mimi today. I'm, 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 I'm like, Crazy. You don't say. This is what happened to the customers first. A. B. Aren't we boys? We're buddies. Make me a goddamn brisket taco. Get over it. I will. Just give me a few minutes. I'll be fine. <laughs> the pain is real, folks. The pain is real. I don't know why it's just sitting with me right now. Well, they feel it in their ears. It's oh, yeah. I'm just... I mean, guys, am I out of line right now? 
Tell me if I'm out of line right now. Should I, should I, not, have, should I not be upset about this? Should I just be like, hey, you know what? <laughs> Today's we'll just pull pork and... I'm I should just take with the pulled. I should just go with the pulled pork. Just take it in the can and go with the pulled pork today. Let me ask you this: What if it was someone you didn't know? Would then you be even upset? more so, it's wrong because the wow. customer, the customer's right. Not always right. I mean, I know I hate that saying. I'm not. I don't mean all. I'm always right, but it was something that could easily be done. But you're never wrong. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> I'm Italian. I'm stubborn. Middle-aged Italian stubborn man. Never wrong. You should know this already. But anyway, the point is, yes, I, I felt I didn't think I was asking for anything other than like I wasn't like, hey, make me a taco when you don't even have tacos. Okay, as long as you're slightly understanding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you had tacos. Well, like you're not going to a pizza joint demanding salmon like now. I want salmon now, damn you, salmon pizza. And brother Rick, Rick Galindo, what's up, brother? Anyway, yeah. didn't think I was asking too much. What's up, Daddy Dutch? You done? Was I asking too much, Dutch? I don't know. Oh, Kevin, you're always agreeing with you. He says he should have given you at least five brisket tacos. Should, you know, and the funny thing, I said, I had made a brisket, and I had some brisket home. But I was going to go, you know, chill, hang out, whatever. No soup for you. I got an idea. <gasps> really? You're destroying the friggin' set. You son of a bitch. He's so I'll angry. Call. I gotta, <laughs> looks like I got to call Ryan Newland to come rebuild the set, Ryan. Oh, don't even get me started with Ryan Newland. That son of a bitch. What? I'm ready to kill him. What? Yep. What do you mean? He texted me last night. Yeah? I, go, I got the text about, oh, <laughs> 10.30. Yeah? And he, sh- he shows me a picture of a, uh, of a comp, uh, comp pit he's working on. And a couple, you know, other little things. And we're going. So he goes. So we're talking back and forth about it. And he goes, so you thinking about the comp pit? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, have a good night. Good night. Try going back to sleep. I go, you son of a... All night long, I'm going through paint schemes in my head. Meanwhile, he tells you who it's for and tells you not to say anything. As a matter of fact, yes. He sent me a picture. picture like, we're going like, to keep these secrets. He goes, secrets. Th- this is a secret. There's Two no- big I'm like, I don't loud- even know who the hell it is. Two big loud mouths. But you're going to trust us with the secret. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I'm ready to kill him on that. I was literally <laughs> up all night thinking about designing and more change... Changing my original design, now paint, and all it's this gonna stuff. going to be, I can't I'm like, wait. And he's there giggling. I can't wait until you get your smoke or something. You he's sitting there love it. giggling. Oh, like brother, little brother Alton, girl. is it true? Are the rumors true? Yes. Did the dog father upgrade? On what? I heard he might have upgraded his smoker. I, no, I don't know, but all I know on from originally, Ryan, uh, well, he says he was. Ryan talk, said goodbye to uh, Big Blue. <laughs> Taco Tuesday means you get hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother Alton says he was supposed to, he was supposed to get the uh, competition pit, but I think Uncle Steve he upgraded to feed the him with Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I turned into Betty White right now, <laughs> dude. Um, what was I going to say freaking? Uh, yeah, so Alton upgraded from the competition, I think, to the 250. Is that right, Alton, brother? Yes. Is that the truth? I need to know. I need details. All right, I'm getting calm now. I'm fine. Hey, th- I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. All I wanted was a brisket with some raw damn onions on it on a taco, and I didn't even get it. Maybe some hot sauce, but I'm fine. Well, now that you're calm, could I ask you a barbecue Sarah, question? Sarah, am I fine? I'm fine, right, Sarah? I'm fine. If you want, you can just, Sarah, I'll just give you the rest of this, and I can go you're home fine. early. I'm I fine. was about to say the same thing. Should you're I fine, leave? I'm fine. He's just not even. We're all fine together. Let's go. Let's go is get this, a brisket taco is this and let, thing him, on? <laughs> let him go. Is this brisket thing tacos on? Brisket tacos are bust. Let's get out of here. This is ridiculous. Let me ask you guys a question Hashtag now. truth. I have a barbecue oh, question. Oh, Kent, I'm not acting like a spoiled teenager, okay? Go ahead, Chrissy. Go ahead, I'm Whatever. listening. Thanks, Kent. Johnny. I was just wondering, with barbecue season right around the corner, what do we do to start prepping for that? Our smokers, our grills. It's been all snowy and. There's a question that you're wondering on. Yeah, I was just what wondering. What do we do? If you well, it's funny because like, I don't prep. Any good I don't. Tips. I don't prep anything. I I'm an all year round smoker, John. Yes. Are you trying to? Are you trying to catch us? Are you trying to? Are you trying to trip us up, Chrissy? No. What I'm do trying I do to the, learn from as the if, masters. As if I've winterized my smokers or something. And I need to de-winterize them. This is called a segue, as in I know, I'm just get off the damn tacos. He just likes giving me a hard time. <laughs> I, did. I just want to bust your chops a little like, bit. But this, that is a good segue. Yes. For all you guys out there, 
who winterize your smokers, raise your hand. No, actually don't, because we're going to make fun of you. No, <laughs> we're going to make fun of all of you. Oh, you I win- have to put my hand down now. Should, Sorry. N- I should never hear how you winterize. I don't even want to know if you winterize your smoker. We don't care. I don't have a smoker. John, do we care? What do you have? You have a grill? Yeah. You have a bobby? Well, yeah, we don't call them a grill. We call them a barbecue. A grill is, you guys call it a broiler in your oven. We call that a grill in Australia. That's a grill. Oh. So ours is just called a barbecue. Mm. Aussies can feel free to speak up and correct me, but I I don't know if I'm deep enough in the barbecue culture Mm. of Australia. Maybe maybe the underground barbecuers Mm -hmm. call them a grill. I don't Mm -hmm. know. But it's really nice all year round there, obviously. So you get to queue all year. There is no winterizing. There is no winterizing of your... uh, (laughs) Of your barbecues. <laughs> oh, look at Kent's comment. I don't even want to read it. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> uh, I wish you didn't know me so yeah, well. Yeah, probably about a thousand milligrams. Why does he have to know me so well? <laughs> Damn you, Dutch. Not too much. Damn I would say you. not enough, isn't it? <laughs> probably not enough. I feel like not enough today. Not enough today. Not en- it would be not enough. I need to be leveled out some form or fashion. I think he took the wrong pills. <laughs> Uh, but yes, as far as you know, most of us go. Mm. We cook all year long. All okay. Year round. So okay. there's really no winterizing or anything. But there are people who it's too damn cold. That's it. Yep. Hello, I'm from Australia. Snow. I just instantly hibernated all winter. So now go. my grill's out there. It's got shit mm. all over sort of it. Exactly. Excuse my language. Don't worry about it. I'm this from is, Australia. I get a pass. This is really not a. <laughs> Kid-friendly show, Chrissy, yeah. as you know. Don't worry. We put it on YouTube, and we tick the this is not for children box. It's fine. Dr. Seuss followers don't follow us, no. so. Oh, did. Oh, I heard. Don't I change heard. the damn subject, because that one, that one got my that, I'm mad going. about that, too. Let's not even go there. This is, not a poli- Seuss books. this is not a political show. This but after the show, let's get political. Yeah. Damn country. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I hibernated all winter. I've, mm-hmm. I'm too soft. We don't get that kind of weather, so I just stayed in. My poor grill stayed outside. So what? Like, what can I do to? It's looking a little so rough. So I what do you, what do you ran do? into that particular issue uh-huh. on Sunday. Uh-huh. Chef Chris, who was here earlier, brought us in um, some steaks. Mm. So I fired them up on Sunday. So I'm like, ah, oh, let me let me just grab whatever grill was up front, and it was my my standalone Weber kettle. Well, apparently the last time I had cooked on that, I knew I did a bunch of chicken. And apparently it was a while ago. Uh-oh. Because I, I set my ch- coals up, so I took the lid off and... Uh, Here comes the answer to your question, Chrissy. I found what I like to call the fuzzies. Uh-oh. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy, Fuzzy Wuzzy had, had, had plenty of hair. But he has a lot of hair, this guy. <laughs> you know, so I had the bit of mold growth. So, put that off the side, went and grabbed the performer, clean as a whistle, let's go. Bang. But that brought me into the thought of talking about today. Getting ready for your barbecue season, if you are one who doesn't cook during the winter. Or getting a vessel ready that you haven't used in a while. In a while. Prepared. Prepared. Because we are now March 2nd, Mm -hmm. you know, around here. Obviously, I woke up this morning, it was five degrees. Yep. You know, but once that first nice day's coming, it's coming. You, people are gonna get the itch. Tomorrow's supposed then, to be nice, even. Yeah, it's gonna bounce back tomorrow. It's like seventeen here right now. You want to do this or not? I'm talking about it. We're talking. We're having a conversation. <laughs> we're, we're flowing. I thought we were flowing. Were we flowing? You're always flowing. Well, I'm just, just not sure if you're <laughs> on the same wave as no, us. No, we're on a different book right <laughs> now. No, 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 don't you, don't you flip that flip pen? That damn pen. Oh, he flipped the. He's trying to flip the wrong pen. Good. Don't flip the flip. It only counts mute. if you flip the right yeah, pen. You talk, and I'll just stay mute until you push my button. Not okay. possible. So, everyone's gonna get that itch. First nice day, they're gonna go to a butcher shop, your little grocery store, get a bunch of meat, come home, and open the lid, and oh. Wow. So now it is the time to prepare for that day. Mm-hmm. Get it all done ahead of time. And it's a good time to check out your equipment also. Anything that might have broke. Mm-hmm. Obviously, with use and weather, you might have a couple rusted out spots. Maybe get a new, new brush. Check your grates, new 
new grates, new, new scrubbers, whatever. charcoal, yep. chimney. I'm a propane. You know how many times I've gone, yeah, here we go, and I've checked, everything's clean, it's awesome. I turn the propane on, wah, wah, wah five wah. minutes, and she's empty, and Nothing. I'm like. <laughs> you said something about rust. You get rusty grates? Yeah. So you get some canola oil, okay. some Pam or whatever, mm -hmm. and after you, you're done, you know, cooking or whatever, you scrub it down, you spray some Pam on it. So I have done that in the past, but um, I, I don't know whether I just didn't thick enough or I've left it too it's long gonna between uses. It's going to dry up uses. after a while, probably, and, you know, if you cover your grill. you got to cover yeah, it. you got to yeah. cover the grill yep. with some Pam, just like you do with a Blackstone. You know, after you use it, scrape it down, give it a little spray or wipe down some uh, some oil, mm -hmm. you know, olive oil or whatever. Perhaps but after I'm a while, the corners from the rain settle into the... The corners of the uh, of the of the cover. If you have a soft cover like me, yep. and you can get a little bit of rust in the corners. Lift it up, wipe it down, spray it. Same with the rust box on your on your uh, you know any offset smoker. They tend to rust out. The paint comes off. Came with some Funny funnel box. oil. What I call it? Rust box. <laughs> it could be turned into a rust box. It can. It careful. can really quick. <laughs> so I was ahead of myself. I'm actually starting to get that little rust on the very inside of the oak Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get too Australian? I thought it was an American term. We've got Kyle Alexander asking, what is propane? That's what a joke. Oh. Ah. I would have just said gas. We just call it gas in Australia. Right. It's essentially the same thing. It's just not... It's fine. You can all pick on me. I don't care. Natural gas. Chrissy. Australian for charcoal. Can you, ah. can, can, can you please come up here? I need to come up there. You won't hear me, though. I'm going to take my headset off. Take the headset off. Fine. We have multiple people who want to put a face oh, to the voice. All right. <laughs> I believe myself, just for the record. Chrissy, put your clothes on first before you come up. Oh. Oh. For all you that know, she sits naked behind you. Yeah. So she needs Is that not the way we're meant to do it? You to, yeah. Sorry, family. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely plays some music right now for the entry. Here she comes. <laughs> Chrissy! Here she is. All right, here. Oh, there. Yep. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Chrissy. This is Chrissy. Yeah. Oh, Chrissy. good day if I'm speaking my, my native tongue. So here she is, guys. What's up? No, she's not, Kyle. We pulled Oz what from behind that? the curtain. Are you single? <laughs> I mean, she is spoken for. Sorry. Unfortunately, brah. Spoken for, but you know, look, we're getting hearts and everything. Oh, that's a hearts yeah, coming in, kid. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and they keep on coming. That's Ooh. brother Rick. Let's see, you get the little who's behind it. Uh, I didn't see. So, how'd you clean yeah. the so, how'd you clean the fuzzies, by the way? How did you clean the fuzzies off? You just scrape what you do with a, a well, what paper. I did just to just because it was f disgusting me out. Take notes, I, I scraped it off. Yep. Right? Then I threw the scraper away. Yeah. Then I just loaded the son of a bitch with charcoal and I let it Burnt rip. that mother up. Burnt it right. You know, just to do. get rid of it. Yeah. Like but, you know, I did everything else on the performer. The, the performer was clean as a whistle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but, um, but yeah. The, Fire kills everything. For peace yeah. of mind, I just, I literally set mine till it's basically smoking yeah. and I turn it off, let it cool for a second. Yeah. Go for it. Cleaning the gas grill, taking out all the inside parts, sweeping it all to the hole, you know, scraping it down, important to do. Some, something yeah. you don't do during the winter time. You might do before the winter time, but you forget during the so right? That's a good time to really get in there and scrape down. How do you, what, what's, your hardest, what's your hardest scraper, your hardest smoker to clean that you own? The hardest one yeah, to more clean? Yeah, of a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, the more of a pain in the ass would be. Your, your be honestly, it's my kettles. Yeah. How do you scrape them down? What do you use a paint scraper, brush? What do you do? I use yeah, use the brush. You know, in a pinch, you always you can use the uh, balled up foil, yeah. aluminum foil, if you need to. But especially now with the new grates they have, it's a get can be a real pain in the ass because before the old style, it was one solid piece. So the, the grate was okay. that. Simple to clean. So talking about the flip-up gourmet. Now we with got the, the gourmet thing. with the with the uh, removable mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. I'm going back over there now. I'm having massive anxiety that no one's in control over there. Hi okay. everybody. Thanks for welcoming Bye, me. Bye, Chrissy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Stop by anytime. We love you. But yeah, the with the gourmet one with the flip-up sides. Yep, yep. Because you got too many moving parts now. 
So that can get really gunked up in those joints. So, you, you know, your grate's not going to f- sit flush mm. and everything. Yeah. So getting yourself a good degreaser is key. Now, how the hell do you take that entire grate and degrease it? Um, I feel like this is a loaded question. I feel like you have the answer to this. I know what I personally do. Well, I, but what would you do? Because you I, can just you can easily just spray it on, let it sit. I'm going to be quite frank with you. I don't use any chemical or or degreaser or anything on my smokers. I, and not to say that I wouldn't. I just haven't really come across something I feel would be maybe safe enough. Mm-hmm. They got that like citrus safe or whatever stuff they sell at Home Depot, but. I don't, I don't spray it on, on the grates or anything inside the chamber. Why? So I don't know, really. I would just scrape her down, burn her in. Coat her with some olive oil, burn her in. What, would, what do you do? I use Simple Green. No kidding. Simple Green degreaser. That's safe. We used to do shots of that in college. The other kind. <laughs> no, the, the cleaner I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that explains a lot today. That explains <laughs> it all. You say it's linked to road Everything's rage. Coming I don't know. Clear now. <laughs> yeah, crawdaddy, the onion on the hot grate does good too. Ooh. Yeah, and you just, just like that's regular, it. That's I do it. a lemon. Lemon, you know the the, the acid. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Cut a lemon in half, and I've done that before as well. Okay. Does it have? Could it have something to do with also the quality of of the grates you're using? So my blackstone never seems to have an issue with rusting. But I have, um, I just sort of bought a stock standard grill in Australia, barbecue for all my Australian yep, brethren. Yep. Um, and these plates kept rusting. So I'm wondering whether they were just poor quality. I didn't, I wouldn't say I went out and bought a top of the line grill. Like, are there, are there the, crappy the, plates the, that are coated in something that might? The cheaper ones you can get that yeah. are kind of like the knockoffs and stuff. Right. Are they better? They, they should still not have major issues. Some of them aren't real stainless steel, but they're just coated. They're coated. You know, and then those will rust on you. you those know? will rust quicker. You this be- is what I think I may have yeah. had and not known. You're better off for stuff like that. You're better off, you know, in my opinion, spending the extra <laughs> buck and getting the right one. It'll last you longer if you yeah. take care of it. Kent's on a roll. Power wash it out of car wash. That'll work. <laughs> that will work. But no, I actually like to soak my grates. Okay. So what I found, but now you need a thing. Something well, how did you figure out? I was say, what do you put it to, in? I found... It's basically a water pan for your home water heater. The round disc then that goes on the bottom. At the, at well, the bottom these are of, square. Okay, but it goes, in case it overflows, it catches it. Yes. I got it, yeah. But they're big enough to hold the 22-inch grate. You oh. just place them right in there. Then I pour the simple green in just so it's, you know, submerged. And I'll just let it sit. And I'll, you know, then I'll clean the inside of the kettle, you know, with my, um, you know, the scruff pads yeah, and, yeah. and stuff. And, you know, spraying the Simple Green in there, hosing it off. I do it a couple times. Mm-hmm. You know, I get them glistening. But, yeah, I, that's what I found, that letting it soak, then you just take it out and they're back to damn brand new to, you know, just like that, shining, glistening. I did the same. I use CLR, and then I was afraid. Yeah. To, I was afraid to eat off it afterwards. But I'm like, no, don't they rinse a coffee good. pot with that in the commercial oh, yeah. back in the day? So they do it. But after I do, once I'm done cleaning, I always do a new a new seasoning. So I'll spray it with an oil. Cook yeah. it through again. But Cook now, it through. Whatever's left on yeah. there is going to get put, burned. Put out some anyway. charcoal in it. Let it go. Throw a couple pieces of wood in there, and you know, just get the temperature up and flying. Then then you're good to go. But that's the thing. You don't want to get caught on your first thing. Hey, it's going to be a great weekend. Everyone come come on, on over. Yeah. And next thing you know, oh, hell. Oops. This has happened before. You open yeah. up your grill and I pop out. Hello. Hey. <laughs> you know? Yep. But, you know, that's what my kettles, you know, my Oklahoma Joe, I've never had an issue with. You know? I, al- I always keep a, a coat of tin aluminum foil on the bottom of the cooking chamber anyway. But what I have found was, you know those Weber coal scrapers? You know, it looks like a big-ass back scratcher. Yeah. Those work incredible for scraping the inside of your cooking chamber, at least on my Oklahoma Joe. The scrapers, the backside of it. Almost no, like the, a, the, or the brush pot. 
No, there's no pressure on them. It's just simply a coal scraper, so okay. you can adjust, move your coals around. Oh, and you oh like the green egg has that long stick with yeah, the, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You yeah, know, yeah. That's it, what I clean my pizza stone with. Yeah, it's got the perfect angle that you can you can scrape all whatever's dripped or gone through the foil, <sighs> scoop it right up, wipe it down, and then same thing. You know, I've never had an issue with the grates on my Oklahoma Joe. You know, so they're they're perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, but like I said, on the kettle, there's too many moving parts now, and they gunk up. But yeah, you want to have that ready to rock. And this is the time to do it. While it's still cold, while mm-hmm. you're waiting, head to Home Depot or wherever you get your barbecue products. Because you might need a new grate. You know, they do wear out after a while. You know, especially I noticed if you use the Vortex and you don't have that removable centerpiece, that high heat is going to destroy the center of that grate. You know, you can buy a um, cast iron center plate for that. To judge, yes. You know? Badass. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this, John. Okay, Greg. Well, we've gone real yeah, professional. Yeah, Greg. Have you ever climbed into your smoker to clean it? <laughs> how big is the smoker? No Yeah, offense? no shit. Well, well how my... big of a smoker do I need to fit 320 goddamn pounds in there? 500 gallon. Be, I think it still be, exact. be a little tight. <laughs> I think it still be a little tight. So this is my new experience. I am essentially climbing into almost into my smoker to clean the damn thing. Well, I know for to fact, get every nook and cranny. It's a 500 gallon propane tank. Well, I know Messy Mike. Yeah. Oh, he, I know Messy Mike too. He has to climb. He actually climbs in his commercial cooker on his trailer. It, well, how big up. is that one? Two fifty or five? Oh, I don't know. It, it's um. Oh, Christ, why am I... It's, it's an old hickory. Oh, it's a big, big old hickory. Okay. Yeah, with the rot- rotisseries yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He told me he actually physically climbs in Into and scrapes it. out because you were telling me an issue you are f- uh, finding with your back line on the very bottom issue. of the gunk. Okay, so listen, up. it's not a backline issue. This is strictly a this north is just a grease. This is a no, but this is a northeast north, issue. True, this is a northeast problem. It's a temperature. <clears throat> it's a temperature problem, which uh, our brothers and sisters in Texas haven't been experiencing this this uh, this this temperature problem. <clears throat> you know, all that grease from a big cook settles down at the, at the bottom of your smoker, right? And it, it it flows right into my 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 grease bucket. But as your fire dies down and your, and your smoker cools, so does all that sludge at the bottom. And then it just hardens. It's like, it's like, it's like the hardest wax that you could yeah. ever try to break. And so to try to clean that out, and you know you got to clean it. I'm, I'm scraping everything. Yeah, I got a nice paint scraper. Got to get in there. But when you get to that bottom, man, you got to just, and you're getting sh- sheets of. Lard like this. It's like, like the big decal on a goddamn chunks that aren't gonna go down the ball valve. It's like the decal on the brisket that you cut off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's oh, that thick. it's just how it's yeah, it's brutal. And so it, it's been interesting. I've cleaned my now. I've I've probably went through a half a quarter, at least a good half quarter wood so far smoking. And and I've uh, and I've I've cleaned it. I've cleaned it twice. Two good times. Mm-hmm. And it goes quicker than you think, but once you get down to the bottom, the sludge. And then it freezes, the hole freezes, so I got to get a long screwdriver. I got to heat it Pop up it all, yeah. with the blowtorch, heat up the ball valve, and get the get it flowing again. So it's been interesting to clean that thing. Oh, yeah. You know, these are, these are, these are, these, you know, these are the things that... We run into being in New England, mm-hmm. you know, with our, like you said, with our temperature. We're out there cooking. It's zero degrees. It's six degrees. It's Yesterday was 40. Yeah. Today, Today was 10. 16 <laughs> with a wind chill of, of, of negative FU. All right? Short people problems. And then problems. tomorrow's supposed Dutch to be like 50. Is on fire. What's he saying now? Short people problems. <laughs> he is on fire today. <laughs> He's all relaxed because they just got back from Texas. Oh, oh, he went. Oh, he still. Yeah, they had already booked the flights. So, oh, congratulations! MCJ. By the way, Texas for the first state 
in the largest state to lift the mask ordinance. Mandated mask ordinance. I just say congratulations because now you can officially smell the barbecue again. That's all. No politics here. Just good barbecue smells, and the mask prevents this. So congratulations. I'm happy for you guys. Can't wait to follow suit. Absolutely. But, yeah, the boys, they got back, went down there. Oh. Yep. Actually, Kent put a great video up last night of all the pictures from, you know, everybody that was there. So is the, is the Houston Rodeo definitely off for good? As far as I on? know, it was, I think it's still, it was supposed to be this past weekend. Well, right, but then they moved it to May, I thought. Begin, yeah, I believe it's the, still the beginning of May. I have not heard so it's if it's tentative anything still. Happened. It's not canceled, though. It's still a maybe. It's still a maybe. Maybe it's better than no. Because I really want to go to that. I want to broadcast from there. Oh, believe me, I wanted to, too. We should get a booth and broadcast from the Houston Rodeo. Can I go? We need you right there so you can broadcast this. Make somebody else do it. <laughs> yes, let's go. Yeah. Well, we could do that. We have backup. Well, Gene yeah. says, congratulations, not wanted. We are not happy with this decision. Mm. Oh, not so happy Mrs. with Mrs. Dogfather is not, not happy, happy with, with the decision. Okay. Not congratulations. No, and I... I, I, I thought maybe that was... We're going to go... We're going to roll into that. Good thing I got to. I have to agree with her. Yeah, because you we still nobody still knows what the what's hell going on. What's yeah. going on with this? One I little gotcha. turn of its head, and we're all. Screwed. I'm just trying to be optimistic. It's me being. I know. I just know, me being I optimistic. Know. That's all. He started off so angry. Let him be happy. I'm trying to get to my yeah. happy place. He's getting to his happy place. It only I'm, took I'm 37 finding, minutes. I'm finding the Fine. way. <laughs> Feeling decompressed. Good. Good. So yeah, get so the bottom line is. Get out there and check your grills, check your smokes, check all your cooking vessels. Be prepared. Be ready to go. Mm -hmm. If you need a new grate, pick up a new grate. Scrapers, all this stuff. Yep, yep. Be prepared for that first for that first day when you're ready to go, and just have at it. Yeah. And try to convert yourself to an all-year cooker. Then you. I'm just saying, my first day was over yeah. ten years. It was How over ten years ago. Being but be a barbecue winner, not a barbecue loser. Exactly. Thanks for taking the word out of us. I mean, I'm the loser. I stayed inside all winter and didn't grill a thing. <laughs> My problem is... I'll get better, I swear. I just have... I only use that grill once in a while. Between the rest of them, it's... Not that I have too many, because you can never have too many. Before I curse myself on that one. <laughs> How long does it have to go until you consider it your first cook again? Is it a season? Is it a winter? Barbecue is a state of mind. Is it a month? Not, if you've been off for a month, Barbecue is, is not like, a season. Oh, it's a state it? of mind. It is. And I don't think, I, I think one time I went a month, this is years ago now, in my earlier days, I went a month without cooking, and I, I sat there, I was sitting there one day going, what am I missing right now in my life? What's happening? I feel so goddamn empty. Hey, there it is. I hadn't smoked meats in a while. And then I did it, sucks me back in, grounded. There you go. Yeah. By the way, I did two turkey breasts this past week. Mm -hmm. Boneless, skinless, and two chicken, uh, I mean, two uh, turkey legs. Butter basted, uh, most underrated meat, as you said. I was telling you, is that the one you think? The boneless turkey breast? Seriously. Really good. It is awesome. It was moist, but even to take it to the next level, I mean, I, I don't know if, if Franklin does this all the time, barbecue, but I've seen him in a couple other uh, places dip the sliced turkey in butter before they put it on your, on your plate. And so we did that just to see, and it was, it was pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. It was really good. What about mayo? Did it was really mayo good. Turkey? Well, Oof. you have to have mayo on turkey, on a turkey sandwich. You've got to have good mayo on turkey sandwiches is, is definitely good. Yes. Speaking of mayo. What? What do you got going on? When someone goes away on vacation, mm -hmm. okay, what do you do? Hey, bring me back something. Right? Yeah. What, what is it normally? Um, what would you ask for? A snow globe. A snow globe. Yeah. T-shirt, perhaps? I like snow globe. And a good lamp. Shot glasses are very popular. Yeah, all right. You well, know what I mean? Overrated. Put them in your body and they collect dust. What else you got? You know, a half ounce of Peruvian gold, something like that, you know, depending on where they go. I love a good Peruvian gold. 
Not me. What do you like? I had my friend <laughs> Justin and Aaron. Yeah. Bring me back mayonnaise. Get the hell out of here. I'm so proud Man of you. Mayonnaise. I don't believe you. Justin had p- put a picture up of Erin. She was making a sandwich. And I go, well, that's a good looking sandwich. I go, but the bigger question is, is that a pair, is, is that a jar of Duke's mayonnaise in her hand? He goes, I heard of yeah, this Duke's what about mayonnaise. Duke's? What about I go, this Duke's? I go, dude, bring me home a jar. Really? He goes, you want a goddamn jar of mayonnaise? I go, don't dude, it's Duke's. Me. We don't have it here. I've never heard of it. What makes this Duke so good? I, I've seen it around. Oh. What? Don't even. Just Are you telling me it competes with Hellman's? Tell me, on the what Hellman's is that one is tell me what's up with the Dukes <gasps> compared to Dukes. How dare you? It's creamier. It has a little zing from some. Um, from a zang? Um, vinegar. Vinegar and a little bit, touch of fabric you can taste. It is a far superior mayonnaise and Hellman's. My Dukes. So, yeah, he brought me back a, uh, back a jar. And this is how my boy Justin knows me, known me Don't almost even... forever. Okay. He, brought, he didn't bring me back a jar of mayonnaise. What did he do? He brought me back a Johnny size, a mag size jar of mayonnaise. Okay. I think they're still having a shot at your size, like at your height. Oh, oh and no, it is. There we go. Wow. What the hell that's, is that? That's the Let spot. Me, Hold hang on. on. That's that. Jesus. Da, 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 da. You got to be kidding me. Hold it still. It'll, it'll focus if you stop. Oh. You got to be kidding. Oh, no, it won't. A gallon Wait jug a of wow. Duke's mayonnaise. Wow. Did you bring anything to eat the damn mayonnaise on? A spoon. No, I wasn't just, expecting to have it today. I didn't supposed, know when he was coming back. Am I supposed to just... Well, are we going to have a mayonnaise eating contest? Am I going to scoop it in my mouth? What am I going to do with this? Rub it on your body and wrestle, you, Johnny. We're not ho, scooping ho, 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 ho. on that. Ho, ho, ho. This is like gold. <laughs> Wait a second. Come here. It's something in your ear. What is this? Is this a crispy chicken sandwich with no mayo from Wendy's? What the fuck? How the... How convenient. Johnny, I, I don't even want to know. What, I don't even want to know what orifice this came out of on you. How convenient. How oh, wow. convenient. Are we having it? Oh, it's, what are we doing? Are we just eating this or are we going to do? We're breaking out the Dukes. Oh, All I'm saying is. It's like my birthday. No mayonnaise spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Because I knew you were bringing that in. Because I'm supposed to know things before the show. So how can I let you come in? I said, did you bring anything to eat? Yeah, eat it with, he says. Dude, I didn't know I was getting it till this morning. Look how proud you are. I only see two burgers there. So you failed. <laughs> totally oh, did. Shit. How dare you? Of course, I'm having issues. I didn't know how many other people would be here, Chrissy. You fucking be- knew I, I would oh! be here. Oh! Sorry. I'm a- oh! I'm happy to say you the fit right in. The words are coming from you down right under. In. The words Apologize, everybody. I, I am, I am a, I am a, a true she fat girl. So I just swore at him for not mad. bringing me a burger. <laughs> She's so mad. I am having issues with this. She's so mad because she wants right a burger and she wants to try the the creamy white right? sauce on it. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry about the f bomb, everybody. Not the is here. Are you mad or that? Are you mad about? Is it because you don't have a chicken sandwich or because you want to try this creamy? I'm mad white that you didn't think of me. You want to try John's Mess creamy right white sauce? Oh Jesus Christ. I'm a typical woman. I'm mad that you didn't think of me. How, I need, how dare you? You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Here I have no go. utensils to pass you. I'm like, Here just do go, it Here we go, John. Oh, Look at this. Bro. This is what, this is the old school. It's kind of like when you get those little wooden sticks in your hoodsies. A hoodsie. You know what Jesus. I mean? I can taste Who doesn't a, love a good hoodsie, by the way? I can taste a wooden spoon. If you don't know what a hoodsie is, you need to take a trip to Boston. Right? The only ice cream that in 100 degrees will not melt. <laughs> That's a fact. It's very fluffy, John. It's very creamy. The air just goes right through it. Can you taste the zing? No, I can't. Oh, wait, it's because I didn't get a burger to have it. Up. It's fine. Go get a knife and let's split this. I already ate before I came. I'm working. You ate before you I always eat before. I can't do a show live on an empty stomach. Who do you think I am? Cheers. Don't even know who I am anymore. Let's go. 
be savage. Are we just eating this, or are we contest and eating this? Oh, hold on. See, and you're two he bites got a ahead of me. Start. You want to do a contest? You want to do a contest? Now, note to yourself, you're two bites ahead. What's the one bite? I just two bites. Your mouth has got to be like Mick Jagger for one bite on that. Take your freaking bite. You ready to go? I'll give you a head start. I need the head start. Ready, set, go. Goodbye. Here we go. For those that are listening and not watching, be thankful you you're say? not watching this. Oh, you're going to lose. Greg is about to lose. I'm not, I'm not, this is I'm shameful. Not, oh, now he's like, I'm not playing I'm not anymore. Playing I'm not, playing, I'm not playing. I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. I'm not playing this game again. I lose every goddamn time. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Just oh, Johnny's even going to clean up the wrapper before Greg is finished. No, this is, this is, this is a professional choice here. I am going to enjoy this forbidden mayonnaise no. sandwich. No, Johnny wins. <laughs> Don't look at me like it was even a competition. We all know you're, you're the master. <clears throat> Beta. <laughs> you want to you wanna really compete? I'll sit up there with you. I'm telling you, Johnny, I'll give you a run for your money. I, show, me how to, show me how to work those little buttons over there. <laughs> we'll I don't places. run. All right. If you see I'll me give you running, sit, I'll give you a sit still for your money. <laughs> if, if you see me running, get a gun and shoot whatever is chasing me. No, I won't because <laughs> look, because while I'm running ahead, I'll let you fall and it can eat you. It's fine. Something done, something that he does. I don't know what it is, but during these eating contests, I've noticed this one thing that he does. It's like his his poker tell, right? Mm -hmm. His left arm starts to shake. And when that left arm starts to freaking shake, you better be freaking scared because it's only a matter of seconds till whatever he's holding in his other hand is gone. Is gone. It's the shake. It's like it's like yeah, it, he's him, not yeah. even in his hand. He's like it's this one. Adrenaline. This one starts going. He's just I can't even deal with it. And it's next thing you know, it's gone. It was delicious. I love my Dukes. I wish I knew what it tasted like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still got half a three-way over there. I know. Maybe we'll add it to that Ooh. at the end of the show. You're going to mix the almighty mayo with extra egg yolk in it with this oh, store-bought one? that's good. I mean, it's good, but, I mean, you know, it's not like, you know. I'll, I'll steal oh, a yeah, spoonful before you leave. It was delicious. I don't know. You might have me beat, Johnny. I'm not, I'm, I'm not as much of a sprinter as I am a long-distance runner. I'm a marathon eater. She's back. She's backpedaling already. Take me to a buffet, and I'm like, they're the reason there's a sign there going, like, you, where they might ask you to leave. Well, I've and been reason, asked to I'm, leave. Yeah. You're backpedaling already. She's back. She's backpedaling. No, already. no, no. I'll do. It. I'll. You're backpedaling, Chrissy. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. You were halfway through the burger, and like, I'm not playing anymore. That's because. So let don't don't Andy give me a hard a, time. He had a two bite. I know stop. he not, did. No, I let you take your bite. I knew that's that why he did that. was a mistake. I should have taken. The I head knew stop. that's why you did I that. I needed the head I'm start. I'm like he's taken that so that he can. <laughs> When he loses, can go, why let you catch up? I needed the head start. Actually, I needed a half a sandwich head start, and then that's probably more my eating handicapped. You know, oh. cap. When competing against the man. I tried. Don't blame me for not trying. I'll I feel like people. I've been dubbed Mrs. Dundee in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I get that. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like. That's not a knife. It's that's just, a knife. That's a knife. There you go. It just works. That's fine. Look, you know who that was? Who? Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Well, if it was Aussie, he'd be like Clint Eastwood. Oh, Great go. show. A movie, by the way. A movie, not show. Anyway, clean your grills. Don't let them get fuzzy like this guy over here. Greg's not... I mean, Johnny's not fuzzy. His grill was. Nah, My he's big and was. fuzzy. Oh, no, fine. You know, don't get fuzzy if, if you're... Uh, if your grill grates look like a peach, the surface of a peach, it's probably not a great thing. Just get prepared for the up, for the season. That's all. Yep. Get prepared with your gallon of artery clogging I'll lard. Take, that's right, caress it. Just you like, like walk that, down like the like street like a, this is a boom box. Who's with Don't me on the you drop that? <laughs> Don't you drop that? <laughs> all right, that's enough. We've get had this out of here. Breaking the set again. God damn it. <laughs> 
Well, that's it for this week, folks. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. Catch the audio wherever podcasts are uh, found. Catch the video on Facebook and YouTube. On YouTube, hit that subscribe button and yeah. notification bell. Have all our episodes right there at your fingertips. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Find us at Pit Life BBQ and also... The Barbecue Broker on Instagram. I put some cooks up there almost every day. Check it out. As well as uh, Bob Hugh Broker on Facebook and our fantastic groups, Pit Life Barbecue and the New England Pit Masters. Check That's us right. out. A lot of great, great stuff going up on the group. And also find me at Johnny Mags BBQ on YouTube. Questions or comments, please send them to Pit Life BBQ Podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Like always, subscribe, like, rate, and review. Hit that share button. Button. Hit it. Hit it. You know, just hit it. That's it. That's it. Just hit it, share it, like it, follow us. Let's grow this thing. Let's do this. Let's it's going to be it. huge. Yeah. Huge, just like my Dukes. It's like your freaking gallon of Dukes. Baby. That's right, baby. All right. Seriously, love you guys. Thanks for watching. And yeah, absolutely. Till next week. Keep, keep the, the smoke, smoke rolling. rolling. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.